first special guest this evening needs no introduction. Holding three Mr. Olympia titles. The classic man of all classic men in the world. It is my honor and privilege, a big Pittsburgh round of applause for the Chris Bumstead. What's going on guys? I'm not going to lie, I get more nervous up here having to talk than I do having to pose. But I just wanted to say a few words because being in Pittsburgh is something really special to me. 2016 at North American is where I got my pro card. And right after that, this beautiful Classic Physique division came out and it changed my whole life. It led to my first ever pro win here in Pittsburgh as well. So I have a lot of memories here, a lot of fond memories. And the starting of a beautiful long journey that brought me to Classic Physique, that brought me to a few Classic Physique titles a few ups and downs in life, but it's that journey that kind of kind of hits us all close to home, makes us love what we do. And I just want to give a huge thank you to the Mannions, Weinberger, everybody who makes this what it is. This fitness world, this haven that we all kind of love and compete and show up to the shows, to the gym, it's changed my life for the better. And I know it's changed so many girls as well, so I just want to say thank you to everybody who makes this lead what it is and shows what it is. Thank you to everybody in the crowd tonight watching, cheering on this amazing show. And yeah, I mean, just want to thank you guys for all the love, all the appreciation. I love you guys a lot. And it's been a hell of a show, so I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the night. We have some amazing bodybuilders coming up here with Brandon, Nick, Hunter, Derek. 212 to open. A lot of big guys up here they are going to put on an absolutely amazing show. So thank you guys for coming out, and hopefully you all have an amazing night. Give it up for Chris Boston, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Champion, our current reigning. It was upset city when he took the title in Orlando. Will he do it again this year? Pittsburgh, make some noise for our current 212 champion, Mr. Derek Lunsford. This next gentleman, 2020, right here in Pittsburgh under the tent, where he earned his IFBB Pro card. One of the biggest men to step on the IFBB Pro League stage. Ladies and gentlemen, the mutant, Mr. Nick Walker.
Thank you, Nick. Next gentleman made some noise. Top five, Mr. Olympia. My cousin in Texas, all the way from Houston. One of the new bloods on our IV public stage. Ladies and gentlemen, he hunts. Please welcome Hunter LaBrana. Let's get loud, Pittsburgh. To close out the guests of all guests, he holds an Olympia title, number 15, but he tells me he's going to knock out the current, the one, the only one of my personal favorites. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the chosen one. Brandon Curry! Stay back up there, bro. Go back up there. Catch your breath on stage. You see, Pittsburgh, do you guys want to see a mini Olympia post out right now? No, 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 no. These guys weigh a total of over 700 pounds behind me. Pittsburgh, do you want to see Olympia post out? Scream! Brandon. They said they want a challenge right now. Let's have Derek, Nick, Hunter on stage. Mikey, give me a beat.
gentlemen. Let's go. We're going to quarter turn you. You guys ready? Quarter turn to the right. Quarter turn to the right. Quarter turn. And face the I think Freddie wants to talk now. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. Pittsburgh, give it up for these four gentlemen right here. The best of the best in the world. Hang out, guys. Hang out and breathe. Derek Lunsford. This is my moment of shine. Pittsburgh stage. Mikey, kill the music, Mikey. 212 champ. I guess everybody here in Pittsburgh wants to know. You gonna take it again? Damn. So, uh, the plan has been to come back to the 212 title this year. So, uh, you guys will definitely see me in December. But, um, you know, I was thinking about what I would say up here today. And, you know, I keep getting the question, you know, a first time competitor or someone that's on their journey to wanting to be a pro or an Olympian, possibly Mr. Olympia one day. And I was thinking like, I've had a lot of highs and a lot of lows during my journey in bodybuilding, you know? And that's just it, guys. This is a journey. And that's the thing. And the, the high highs, take them, you know, take those blessings and you know, run with that motivation, stay grounded, but also at the same time, when you're ha having a, a low low, when you're having these setbacks, guys, just keep going. That's the name of this game, guys. This is a journey for yourself. So it's all about consistency and just keep moving forward, guys. Also, just remember, please, remember the love that you have for bodybuilding and training. The first time you ever stopped or went to the gym and started training, like what that felt like and why you did it. And the, and the passion love you had for it. So when it comes to the, you know, getting on stage and competing and the placings and the highs and lows and this and that, you know, you know, take that for, for just what it is, but keep going, keep moving forward and, and remember the love you have for it, so. Give it up for Derek, a 212 champ, well said, sir. Congratulations. Moving on. Now, can I stand next to you? 155 pounds versus 365 over here. Mr. Nick. What do you have to say to Pittsburgh, my man? I... <laughs> That's what I expected. Nick, you got two competitors right next to you. You gonna take him out of the Olympia? I will be Mr. Olympia this year. <laughs> Judges, I'm looking for a head nod or something. Okay, cool, nobody head nods. Well, what's your secret, bro? What's your secret? We're about the same height. My hair might have poofed up over him, but you put on some massive size, some improvements since we've seen you on stage. What's the secret? What's, what pushes you? What motivates you? There is no secret. It's dedication. It's hard work. Consistency day in and day out. I never miss a meal. I never miss a workout. I have the same schedule day in and day out. I wake up at the same time. I go to bed at the same time. When you want something this bad, I believe you have to be have an obsessive personality to it. And that's what creates winners. I've always believed that since I started this journey, and I will believe that until I'm done. Well said. Give it up for Mr. Nick Walker. How to come over here and get some feedback. Hunter LaBrada, my Texas cousin. We're from Texas. We represent. My man over here said he's knocking you out. But 2021, you did something different. Yeah, no, uh, you know, it didn't crumble the way that it did. You know, I know he's training to make it not happen again. I'm training to make it happen that way again. I know he's training to bring back his title. We all train to win, man. At the end of the day, that's what we do. We all love to compete. We all love to train, but we train to win. All of us do. So, you know, he said he's going to win. I say I'm going to win. I'm sure if you ask him, he said he's going to win. So, that's just the way it is. Tyler, we can't have three winners of the Mr. Olympia, right? Okay. Just making sure. Man, I've seen you in Texas come up. Obviously, you have a huge support system. The greatest, Mr. Lee Labrada himself, one of the best posers in the league. What's your secret? What keeps you ticking for everybody watching worldwide? Uh, having new people around me that make this genuinely fun to do. You know, I've had a 
been blessed to go around the country doing a lot of these recently. You know, every single one of them I go to, at the end will always say thank you uh, for making it possible to do what I love with the people that I love for a living. At the end of the day, I think that's why we've had the success. And, you know, a good group of people that, uh, you know, I go hard for them and they go hard for me and I have a lot of fun doing it. So that's my secret. Beautiful. Give it up, Mr. Howard Prada. The chosen one. I got to hang out with you two weeks ago in Mexico. I'm still, uh, still from there. Can't say that. We got Mr. Jim Manning right there. We can't say much of that. Brandon Curry, you took an Olympia title, a shy away from the current Mr. Rainey, Mr. Olympia. You know what? Tell the world what you have to tell. What I have to what? Tell it. Uh, well, first of all, <laughs> you all look beautiful here tonight. Thank you for coming and backing this house out. Mad Pat. Great show. We really appreciate the support for everybody in the show. All the promoters, I'm sure, are very, very happy. But we appreciate your support of bodybuilding because without you guys supporting us, we wouldn't be here, right? Well, we you know bodybuilding is taking some tough, tough times here, you know, and I really want to encourage you guys to focus on your health as well as your physiques. And, uh, you know, I had to go back into the drawing board as well after the Arnold, competing a lot. Focus on my health and then come back and try to look good for this for the gym. <laughs> but uh, it's all about you know, you know, us being examples. So we got to make sure we take care of ourselves and uh, and then appreciate the ones that, that we, we've made a loss. So uh, thoughts and prayers out to those guys and their families. And like I said, we continue to carry on and and just bring this sport to, to the top. So uh, thank you guys. Looking forward to December. December, right? Yeah, we got a lot of time <laughs> to December, but uh, we're gonna get dirty and we're gonna have fun, most part, right? And uh, look at Derek over here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if Derek wants to. Ch I don't know what you and Honey are doing. You're trying to make us nervous or something. But uh, this guy, uh, he's looking good today. <laughs> well, yeah, we're having a good time and we appreciate you guys' support and uh, enjoy the show. Brandon. We all know he's a nice guy. It's not what I asked you, man. Pittsburgh is watching for the juice. Okay, let me, I was trying to ask you nicely. All right, the question is, what are you gonna do to these open guys next to me? Well, you know, first you give them hope. <laughs> are you gonna take the title this year? God will. Pittsburgh, is that the answer you want to hear? That's a good answer. But a Mr. Olympia would answer, Mr. Brandon Curry, are you taking the title in Las Vegas when he comes back to Las Vegas this year? Well, you know I've been about my business this year, like in 2019, right? So I'm trying to make it two for two. No doubt. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard here, give it up for these four gentlemen, the beasts in our industry, Mr. Brandon Curry, Hunter LaBrada, Nick Walker, and our 212 champ, Derek Lunsford. We'll get back to the show, give these guys some carbs. <laughs>